I'm kind of embarrassed. I, uh, I was mentally preparing myself for beginning the stream here live on Twitch and, uh, couldn't hold back. Uh, had to let things go. I apologize if any of that got on those of you who were, uh, tuned in ahead of time doing the drops and pops and the things you normally do. Uh, I hope not to be gassy for the remainder of the evening. I, I can make no promises. But thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are, for helping me get that, I was going to say off my chest, but maybe I should say out of my butt. So let's go ahead and begin things with the score today. This is something that I stumbled upon, did not have one until of course i went out and got one this is an lcd projector watch and i discovered that it's not quite as functional as i would have wanted it to be so effectively you've got this darth vader here and you've got a little lcd screen that it's not going to read out the time at this point but you can even press the side here and another side projects you can see it projecting onto my hand but the problem is uh, no matter how I adjust uh, this particular knob, I can't seem to flip the uh, uh, the actual pictures. So I, I think I've got to do some tweaking. It says push button and turn case. So I've turned the case there. I've turned the case here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I figured it out. I have. So you rotate this Darth Vader. And as you rotate it, it will broadcast or project a different image. And so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. I was worried. I was like, wait a minute, it's, this isn't working. Why is it not working? It's like never been used and obviously it's still projecting. So uh, yeah, and even this ring here can be twisted to refocus at different uh, uh, lengths. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna grab my Enso rings. Any ideas as to which one I should wear tonight? Because I'm not wearing one right now. All y'all watching live, you can pick one. Which, which one am I going to wear tonight? Uh, how did you get your Vader working? Rotate him. Yeah, I guess that's that, that, that was the long and short of it. I was going to use the back of this box to try to project the image that needs to be focused. This is kind of tricky to do uh, when you don't have a fixed focal point. There we go. It's, it's kind of focused. Can you see the... Uh, it looks like a Stormtrooper there. Let's go ahead and rotate Vader again. Looks like that's another stop point. Uh, that is a Vader helmet. It may be very difficult for you to see because it's very difficult for me to see. And I'm sitting right here with a ring that I'm going to wear. Gold. According to Liz. All right, Liz. Going for the gold. Haven't worn the gold yet. Get it on my finger. The silicone Enso ring. Uh, I would say of the night, but I'm not exactly wearing them every night. Uh, still, I've got a rotating LC... Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. There we go. I've got a rotating Darth Vader LCD projection watch now. It, uh, it'll probably remain in the box, although it's kind of beat up, so I may take it out. Be kind of fun to wear. I, I love the design that they used. You got Darth Vader... You know what? This is what we're going to do. Because I just feel like tearing into a watch, and I'm going to have you watch me. Oh, you wanted me to say, I love gold. C-3PO gold. You probably didn't notice me with my gold ring. Well, now you do. Figured you'd get a kick out of that Sith Lord Brit, the watch that is. But we've just begun with this unpackaging, and I do not want to slice into myself. And I thought this was just going to be straightforward, but jeez, crackers. They, they've, like, put all sorts of weird plastic stuff in my way. Okay, let's see if I can get it out this way. Yeah? Yeah? There we go. Yeah? Okay. There we go. But then I've got this uh, tie, this plastic tie on it. Not to be confused with the TIE Fighter. Like a twisty TIE. Anyway, so I love the fact that they got a Vader there. I also see a Vader here. Oh, this is really nice. 
you know, when I when I get it off the plastic, then I could wear it, right? Instead of this watch, this twenty dollars smartwatch, I could wear this. I think it was like nine dollar amazing watch. Smartwatch or amazing watch? Which would you wear? Oh, I'm probably gonna stick with this because this tells my heart rate. This just protects. Uh, wait, now that I think about it, this does project awesome images. I almost said protects. Doesn't well, I guess. The case does protect it. The 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 image that's in, in some kind of carousel that's projected out when the LCD is beaming by. It's kind of neat. Would not have found it had I not been browsing a marketplace and I'm like, ooh, that looks kind of cool, but I wonder if they have a better price. I found a better price and I got it. That's usually how I find things. I'm like, oh, I had no idea this this existed. Uh, that seems kind of expensive. Let me see if I can find a better price. That is a better price, indeed. We have our first clip of the evening. Thank you, Liz. I'm going to go ahead and download that and tweet it out uh, before going to the next set of things that I wanted to showcase tonight. A couple of new arrivals, brand new. Haven't seen them shared anywhere in social media yet, apart from the teaser images. I love gold. There we go. Uh, I have now tweeted that thank you very much again liz let's go ahead and scoot to this uh you know i'm happy when i'm like smile well, i mean of course when you're happy you know what crack a smile yeah for sure but uh they came in the uh the builder bears came in and let's see if i can it's like me right now <laughs> <laughs> Show me what you got. Ew. That does not sound good. It's like shorting out. Do you hear that? That was weird. Huh. It was working before and then suddenly it's not working. My jaw is broken. Uh, that, yeah, now it's definitely not working. I'm squeezing his paw too. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to contact customer service, possibly get a replacement, or at least I would hope to get a replacement uh, because this just doesn't work. Played it twice and no more. But this is a new Build-A-Bear and it is a bear, a Jawa bear that uh, they made available a few weeks ago. So it's kind of a, a surprise that the uh, the voice box is not working. There's no other way of ordering it either. You can't get it without the voice box. You heard it laugh once, and that was pretty much... Well, now it works. Well, now it works. All right, well, maybe I won't be contacting customer service. Uh, this is uh, hopefully going to be very warmly received on Jedi's birthday. I think it's kind of cute. I mean, even though, you know, it's a Jawa, usually Jawas are not very cuddly, but this one's very cuddly, being a Build-A-Bear Jawa uh, with the hood and the eyes and the, the, the bandoliers. And then, of course, the sound effects. That's what I was a couple seconds ago when I when I thought that, that this Build-A-Bear, I'd have to return. By the way, on the feet, the little Jawa feet, you got Star Wars, the Mandalorian customization. Of course, you knew it was a Mandalorian Jawa when you heard it saying, Suga, 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 egg. Egg. That's not the only thing I got from Build-A-Bear. Because I needed to, uh, you know, make it worth my while. So, I got something that Sith Lord Brit probably wants. And this is a substantially larger pod than was previously available to me by way of the Disney pod. Uh, this was way overpriced, uh, admittedly. Way, 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 way overpriced. This, this, this Mandalorian pod of sorts. Uh, it's... Very, it, it's flexible. Yes, card made of cardboard, and, and, and of course, 
some kind of fabric atop the cardboard, but definitely not worth the price. Absolutely not. Don't consider it unless, of course, you absolutely need a pod for a Grogu that you have. But uh, this is the pod, and it's uh, it's nice. I mean, it's got the Build-A-Bear logo on the back. Uh, it's nice because, like I said, the other one, I probably should have grabbed it, is a little smaller than, than this one, substantially. So, theoretically, when Jedi gets this one, she'll be able to, uh, you know, fit more in it or feel like she can carry it around rather than a small baby Yoda. She can get more things in this particular pod. That's the reason I got it. Uh, the question was, how much was that? 30 or more? Unfortunately, yes. And I paid it. I paid. I paid. Uh, so, I hope she likes it. Because let me tell you, uh, I did not like the price at all. But it should last us a while. Uh, there's no other pod like it available on the market. The closest is about half this size, maybe? A little too small. So this, uh, I think, will uh, will fit her needs rather well. Or at least I hope uh, fits her needs rather well. Does this make sense? You know, why, why, why I would get a pod to carry around a Grogu? Obviously, there's only one use for it. Because we don't really have a crib. We don't really have a cradle. This is it for a Grogu or... Or other things. I did not get a Build-A-Bear Grogu, however. Didn't want to do it. Instead, I opted to get a Loath Cat. So I got a Loath Cat. This is the second Loath Cat that I picked up. I don't know if it's got, I don't think it's got a sound effect. No, it has no sound effect. Uh, but this is the second Loath Cat. Uh, the first one I think is really cuddly that I've had. There was another Loath Cat that I missed a few years ago at Star Wars Celebration. Didn't get that stuffy. Kind of regretted it. But here, let me make sure. You're able to get the full shot. You got the, the legs. They can't... I thought they could be posed, but I guess not. You've got uh, Build-A-Bear, Star Wars, and Mandalorian on the feetsies. Uh, but this is, of course, uh, from the planet Lothal. Uh, if you watch Star Wars Rebels, and you should have. Uh, again, this is going to be for Jedi. I'm holding the Jawa, the Pod, and this Loth Cat... Uh, for Ransom. No, uh, I'm going to hold it uh, until uh, her birthday. So September 14th. And indeed, hang on just a second. Give me a second. Uh, after I'm done, I want to make sure we get a good shot of the Loath Cat here. Uh, this is the third known Loath Cat that's a stuffy. Probably the, the cuddliest Loath Cat. You know, it's smiley, really cuddly, really soft. The other one is not as cuddly as this one, so I hope Jedi really likes it uh, as a, as a loath cat, uh, and it sits up, right, like that. Uh, big head, very, very soft, um, exactly what I was hoping for with the first loath cat, but I'm happy to have this other loath cat, second loath cat, I guess. Uh, the next thing we've got is the Jawa Blaster, not as exciting. Here, do I have to, I guess I have to, do this, don't I? I have to put the uh, the Jawas blaster on the Jawas hands if I'm going to do this correctly, right? There we go. Now we've got a Jawa build a bear. See, he's got the. Uh, wait, am I? He's holding on it up. To, uh, come on. I, I, he, 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 there we go. He's, he's got to hold the uh, the weapon correctly, otherwise, you know, bad things happen. I guess. So uh, there's the Jawa. With the weapon, all exclusive. Can't get it anywhere else. We've had other soft Jawas, soft-ish Jawas, but Jedi wasn't really inclined to, you know, necessarily hold on to them or play with them. I'm hoping that with a fully soft Jawa, she's going to get a kick out of it. That's that's my that's my hope. Just like a fully soft Loath Cat, and, and of course, like a, the, uh, the 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 Pram, uh, I think she's gonna like anyway. Uh, if only because it's larger. So I got, because they were free, two birth certificates for uh, the the uh, the Jawa and the uh, um, and the the, the Loath Cat. So one one birth certificate for the Build a Bear is uh, black and light brown. So this is the Jawa. Glitter Stim is the Jawa's name, and Glitter Stim is actually from Legends. It was the spice, or a spice, and it belongs to Jedi Perillo, stuffed with love by Luke Skywalker. 
Because, you know, that's, that's far more exciting than getting it from mom and dad. Uh, so that is uh, the Jawa, I assume. Yes, and then medium brown and yellow. Uh, this is Kip. Also, Kip Duron, again, from Legends. Uh, this is a gift for Jedi. Oh, wait, hang on. Yellow and medium brown. Maybe this is the Jawa. Uh, stuffed with love by Han Solo. So Han Solo made this one. So I thought it'd be... I, I, I just, I just, Kip and Glitter Stim. I, just, I, I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't know. Not that I, I chase down stuffies, because I don't. Uh, for the most part, I, I, I try to avoid them, because they're pretty commonplace, but it isn't often you find a loath cat. And the Jawa was just there kind of begging to be picked up. I'm like, you know, maybe she'll like this Jawa. I have no idea if she will. And so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I have also successfully printed, thank you, Hollywood N3D. I think it's awesome as well. A Princess Leia figurine. By the way, uh, the artist uh, yesterday of this particular series of figurines or figures uh, ended up quote tweeting me uh, last night or this morning uh, when I reached out to him to let him know, hey, I printed all these in, in hologram. And uh, he got a kick out of it. He thought it was a pretty good effort. So I ended up doing this Leia today. Uh, and, of course, in, in this magenta or pink, specifically for Jedi, uh, because there just aren't enough of these types of figures uh, out there for her. You need a happy Lothcat pick? I thought you had a... Oh, was I not smiling? Okay, how's this? Like, get this. It is... Am I? Which is happier? Okay, you have to decide. Who's happier, me or the loath cat? Me or the? We're not going to adopt a cat. That would not make me smile. But adopting a loath cat? Oh, absolutely. I would do this. Maybe not again. Maybe with a smaller loath cat. And I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that the cuddly loath cat is gonna, it's gonna land well. Hug it. Oh. Why, why am I doing... Why am I hugging this? This is not for me to hug. I, I don't hug cats. They go and then scratch me. I'm kind of scratchy to begin with. Uh, hang, hang on. I've just got to make sure... Am I grabbing you in the right spot? Are, are we dancing here with your paw? Uh, there's... There's... This is a little cat. Yeah, you got to be careful not to get the ears up your nose. You're pointy. And I know you're inclined to do this. But you don't ever want to do that with a little cat ear. Not recommended. And definitely... <laughs> The other cats are jealous. Unless that, uh, that that may have been a, a loath cat. I don't know. Drinking wine tonight out of a box. With my pinky up because I'm classy. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I had to showcase tonight. The loath cats, the pram, the uh, Jawa, the, the Princess Leia, and... What, didn't I show you, like, one other thing? I swear... Oh, the, the, the Darth Vader watch. Yeah, that was it. Now, I'm printing a Darth Vader. Of course, in the same color as the Princess Leia, because I, I wanted one, and I figured Jedi would want one as well. And I'm not going to... Don't worry. I'm not going to go through the full array of the figures again in this color. Uh, but I thought, you know, while I'm at it, while I got it loaded... Uh, I'll just uh, I'll shoot off a couple, uh, see how it goes, and so far so good. I only had to pre-print, after I realized there was an error in the uh, STL file, I had to pre-print a part of the body or the torso. Uh, otherwise, it would have been floating up a layer and it may have caused some issues. But I was able to address that potential shortcoming with what they call a raft. 